The Hollywood elite sure have been rubbing their slimy hands together in glee over this one for quite some time, and now all of it is completely backfiring on them in the most hilarious way possible. So, Hollywood a couple of years ago decided that they were going to make a Trump biopic, okay? They are planning to release this film during the election cycle to try to paint a bad picture for Orange Man Bad so they can continue to try to destroy him in any way that they can. This whole thing is absolutely insane, but... But, you know, of course, you know, this isn't going to be counted as election interference or anything like that. But a dude making memes about Hillary Clinton is apparently very, very bad. The director wants Trump movie The Apprentice with fake, terrible scene that they decide to just completely make up about Orange Man Bad released during second debate. So they're planning to release this film during the second debate between Trump and Biden. So let's go ahead and listen to what the director has to say. Uh, when we did this movie, everyone said, why do you want to make a movie with Trump? You know, if you want to tell something about the world. Because I'm suffering from TDS and I have to get all that out. There is no nice metaphorical way to, to deal with the rising wave of fascism. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, of course he went there. He said the F word, guys, all right? So this shows you exactly where his brain is working at. You know, like he's thinking about everything through, of course, this absolutely ridiculous lens where, you know, Orange Man Bad is the boogeyman and all this type of stuff. And, and he's a fascist, guys. The only people I have seen being fascist for the past few years are the people who are silencing people who have opinions that they don't like, who are canceling people for having opinions and worldviews that they don't like. We are literally seeing that happening right now with Harrison Butker, where we are seeing all these Hollywood celebrities trying to destroy his life and silence him because he had worldviews and opinions that they didn't like. Social media, big tech, Hollywood celebrities, the government, they are trying to destroy anybody who steps out outside of the narrative, questions things, all that type of stuff. That sounds like those are the fascists to me. There's only the messy way. There's only the, the uh, banal way. There's only the way of dealing with this wave on its own terms, at its own level, you know, and... So we're gonna make up fake scenes of Orange Man Bad doing absolutely awful things. We have this crazy, hilarious twist where the presidential campaign for President 45, soon to be President 47, has denounced the much-anticipated biopic The Apprentice following its debut at Cannes and has threatened to sue the filmmakers. We will be filing a lawsuit to address the blatantly false assertions from these pretend filmmakers. This garbage is pure fiction, which sensationalizes lies that have been long debunked, which they have. They literally have from Trump's first wife, who is the one who has been set up in this movie to be the victim. As with the illegal Biden trials, this is election interference by Hollywood elites who know that President Trump will retake the White House and beat their candidate of choice because nothing they have done has worked. They have this version of reality that they want to be true so badly that they will ignore all the truth to try to make it seem like that is the truth, that that is what reality is. So now, after all this has happened, okay, after they threatened to sue and all that type of stuff, now, apparently, some of the people involved have been walking back some things about the movie. So Mariah Bakalava, who plays Ivana Trump in the biopic The Apprentice, is laughably claiming her smear of a movie is not a biopic. Suddenly, this movie is not a biopic, guys. It's just, it's just, you know, creative interpretation. That's all it is, guys. Well, the scene has always been in the script, and I think it's, again, important for the arc of my characters. And I try to look at this. This is not a biopic. I don't see this as a biopic because not every single detail of Trump's life exists in this movie. And it's inspired by him, but it's not a biopic for me. All I smell right now, guys, is just complete and utter BS from every single word that she uttered right there. This is insane. These people are insane. So the whole drama around this entire story is getting more and more insane and we're going to continue to monitor it and see what happens with all of this let me know what you think about this in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon